Well, hello everybody and welcome to Lauren Loves Color. This is Lauren. I am here with a requested video for you today. Um, I had a number of people after I posted my completed pages video requesting to see how I apply Dragonfly Glaze. So I thought I would do that for you on camera and give you just some tips and tricks and information about um, Dragonfly Glaze, how I use it, what tools I use, where to get it, etc. So we're going to be um, actually applying the Dragonfly Glaze in this book. This is the Easy Halloween Coloring Book um, from Jade Summer. This is illustrated by Joshua Dunbar, um, one of my absolute favorite illustrators from Jade Summer. He's actually um, the only uh, real illustrator that I know with Jade Summer, um, but I love his books. I love his Easy Coloring Book. He just came out with this one. You guys should have seen my flip and review of this book already. It's just absolutely fantastic. So I colored a page out of here that I thought would be good for um, applying the Dragonfly Glaze. Um, it is this one here. It is of this crystal ball. I thought that there's a lot of opportunities to just add some sparkle um, onto this page. Now there is already, I have applied some sparkle to this page and we'll talk about it because I felt like it would added some comparison and stuff as well as we apply the Dragonfly Glaze so you can see the different kinds of sparkle um, that I have and kind of what the differences are. So um, first of all, there is on the, and if I can make them shine, um, on these little balls on the, um, curtains that are kind of like the curtain holders. Um, this is just a glitter paint marker or glitter marker. I have a wide variety of them here. Um, I think I used this color, which is from the Mondo Llama um, line. This, these are available at Target. Um, very comparable are the um, INC glitter markers that you can find at Dollar Tree. Um, both of these are really good and I've used both of them. They are kind of a glitter marker with just some um, it's very, very light pigment and um, some silver, typically silver glitter mixed inside. On this candle that I have here, um, th these are the um, Sakura Jelly Roll um, glaze pens. Um, I use this color. This is one of the darker colors here. Um, and so I did this all over the candle. It kind of gives it that, um, very glossy type reflective appearance. Um, I kind of thought it would look somewhat like candle wax. And then, um, I also added inside of the, of the actual little crystal in the ball. There you go. Um, right here, of course, are stickles, which are just phenomenal. They are a glitter glue. They look just like this. I used this color here, which this one is not named. This must have come in a pack that I got from Michaels. Um, but I use this color here, which is kind of a, um, it's a red and purple color that I used here. And that gives probably the most shine um, and glitter out of anything that I use, but there is a texture, like a rough texture that it does leave on the page. Um, and this does take some time to dry as well, but lots and lots of glitter, just packed full of glitter and shine. Um, and then I also use last but not least is on the little tarot card here. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that there's these little stars. I used the Sakura Jelly Roll, not that one, Stardust Pen in Clear, which is just silver glitter that you can really add to anything. So um, I added some of that shine and texture to the page just to kind of give it some, you know, depth and dimension and other shine and glitter. So we're let's go ahead and talk about the Dragonfly Glaze because that's why we are here. I'm going to move this book to the side real quick so we can kind of go over the tools and the glaze itself. So I have five different colors of the Dragonfly Glaze. These are all of the ones that I have been able to find now. Dragonfly Glaze is available um, online on Amazon. I will link down below the pack that I purchased there. Um, and then you can also purchase it. I think the most cost effective way to get Dragonfly Glaze is to go to your local Walmart. My Walmart only had, I think like two colors. And so I ordered the rest off of Amazon. I don't know if this is the full line of Dragonfly Glaze. There may even be more than this, but certainly this is enough to last me for a lifetime. So 
what these are these are an acrylic paint they're made by folk art and um they have very very fine fine iridescent glitter in them so meaning that there's multiple colors of glitter it's a clear paint um and then there's multiple flecks of glitter of different colors inside of the paint itself that give it a um they give it kind of an iridescent effect. So this, when I open it, you'll see it's actually white um, on the rim, but it actually dries clear. So don't be afraid of that. Um, it feels and looks a little bit like a glue. Um, I'm trying to see if you can kind of see some of the um, kind of iridescent effect in there. Um, it dries very, very much like a, um, or feels like a glue, but it is an actual acrylic paint, which makes it really, really easy for cleanup um, after you're actually using these. So this is the full set of five. This very first one I have is violet, blue, green. And so those are the three colors that it um, shows. This one is blue, green, gold. I have this one, which is red, red, violet, blue. Very pretty. I have this one, which is gold, red, violet. And they each have kind of like a little holographic sticker on top that try to kind of make you see what the, what it looks like, but that's not really what it looks like. And then this one is full spectrum. This is supposed to be kind of like a multicolor kind of rainbow effect. I will tell you in my experience, which is, is, is a little bit odd. Um, I find that the, that the full spectrum doesn't give as much of a glitter, like really, um, kind of reflective color as much as the other ones do. So the only thing that you need to apply the Dragonfly Glaze really are paint brushes. Um, I'm gonna show you the pack of paint brushes that I purchased um, and I will leave these down in the description box below. These are also available on Amazon. Um, you do want a brush that's not the, you know, the cheapest of the cheap, but it doesn't have to be very expensive. Um, I purchased these as a two pack off of um, Amazon, I think for like six or seven dollars maybe these are the suit color 20 P premium paint brushes um and these work great they say ideal for watercolors oils and acrylics um i mean they're they're they're, they're never really that that great um i mean they're they're not like you know super super high quality but these work really really well they have a nice variety of different sizes i didn't want something that was too large of brushes i needed something that was more on the smaller side because i'm going to be doing lots of detailing for brush care it does tell you on the back here what you can use um so for acrylics it says never allow paint to dry on brush clean with soap and water which is exactly what i would recommend for you i just use regular hand soap and water um and uh, wash the brushes after i use them if you leave the acrylic paint on the ends of the brushes which i have done and am guilty of it will leave a residue on the brush i've actually just washed this one right yesterday because clearly i had used some um, acrylic paint on it and had not um, washed it and so even now when I'm just flicking the end of the brush I can see little pieces of glitter and pieces of glue kind of flying off but I have fixed it for the most part so I'm going to use these three brushes today um, in varying sizes this one here is not in this set this was actually a set I got um, from CVS a super cheap little set that I bought a long time ago actually for um, an art project with my son so that is that. So let's go ahead and get to applying the glaze. I'm going to show you the colors as well. I do have them swatched out um, in my book just so you can see the differences in the colors. Um, it's a little bit surprising because the way that the colors show, even in the swatches, it's hard to kind of tell you what the color ultimately is gonna be. Um, you can apply acrylic paint pretty much over anything. So I can apply it over anything on this page. It works great over alcohol marker. It works great over crayon. I haven't had any problems with it at all. Um, you can apply it over other paint. I mean, you can just apply it over anything. And like I said, because it dries clear, it's really, really easy to use. So. I'm going to try to kind of get the sparkle on the page for you there so you can kind of see the differences in the colors. So that top one is the blue, green, gold. Then it's the gold, red, violet, red, violet, blue, 
violet blue green and then the full spectrum so this one at the top the blue green gold really gives me mostly green and yellow um kind of green and gold is mostly what i see on the gold red violet i see a lot of the red not as much of the violet in that one um i also hear the red violet blue very heavily re reads violet to me almost like a cool toned pink color um and then for the violet blue green that one i see a lot of blue in, and this is just on white paper so on other paper it's going to show different colors and then full spectrum i just kind of see a glob of glitter <laughs> I don't really see like a distinct color. So I think I'm capturing some of the reflect there so you can kind of see what colors they're going to show up as. However, now depending upon what you actually put on your, um, what, what the color is underneath, whether it's a dark color or light color, it, it may show up a little bit different. So I'm going to do three things today in the um, dragonfly glaze. I want to do these crystals here. I'm of course going to do the big, um, um, kind of globe fortune teller thing here. And then I'm also going to do the flame. So for the flame, I've got to look at my colors, gold, red, violet, because it kind of shows up as red. Um, for the globe, I want to use, hmm, I think the blue, green, gold, and that shows up mostly as like a gold color. Where's the blue, green, gold? And then um, for the gems here, I'm debating between red, violet, blue, and violet, blue, green. The red, violet, blue is really like a per really pretty purple color. I'm gonna do red, violet, blue. And then we will leave those two to the side. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I, um, I'm going to, I have like a blotter pages obviously just behind. There's not too much that you, that you really need, um, you know, behind it. Uh, you're not laying a really thick coat of this at all on the page. I'm going to use this little brush here. Um, and we're going to literally just go down the flame of the candle. Um, I do give this a nice little shake Sorry, I don't mean to make you dizzy. Um, a nice little shake before I get started because, ooh, let me reach for some paper towels. Sorry about that. Um, you want to get the glitter, you know, nice and kind of thoroughly mixed into the paint before you use it, but it's really not that messy. So, um, so I'm going to show you. So I give it a nice little shake and then um, you'll see it kind of floats a little bit to the top here. Um, you can also, if you want to, just use the um, some that's inside the cap that's here and just dip into that if you want to, but you really you really don't, don't have to even do that. Okay, let's zoom in just a little bit. I'm gonna try to just make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. So I just barely dip the tip of my paintbrush in to just get it a little bit wet you guys may be able to see that on there and then I'm just going to go in and just paint and there's no real um, no real method to my madness this does not leave streaks I have found so you don't need to be worried about having like streaky paint, you know, or anything like that. Like it's extremely user friendly and I have never used acrylic paint before on a page. So it might just also totally be my, um, just naiveness with how easy it is to use acrylic paint. Um, but I feel like, I feel like acrylic paint would definitely add maybe a little bit of um, streaks. Um, so I'm going to let that sit. So the one thing too, is this does have to dry. And when you first paint it on there, it's not going to look super glittery. Like I can see the glitter. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to make it like reflect. Gosh, that candle is just really 
the waxy candle is really, really um, shiny. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure necessarily that I'm going to be able to make that reflect, but I can see the glitter, but it will glitter up a bit more too after it dries. So next we're going to use the blue, green, gold. Use that on the globe. I'm going to use my big brush for this. Again, I've got a pretty decent amount on there because I'm doing a big area. So pretty. And you can see it doesn't smear anything. It's not smearing the crayon or the um, marker that's underneath. I just have... Um, regular alcohol marker. And because if you, as long as you use just a little bit, it's not going to make your pages really buckle, you know, like they do when they get wet. If you were to try to use like a water medium, now you'll see it's starting to kind of wave a little bit on me. Um, but it will, it'll dry and it'll be fine. And a lot of the reasons you want to kind of use a not super, super cheap brush and just test your brush too, is that you don't want to um, end up where pieces of the brush fall off in the paint. Beautiful. Okay, so that's it for that one. Just kind of wipe my brush off here. And I usually just kind of try to check too to make sure, like, did I get... Are there any little places here, like within the little globe that I can see that I maybe left out? No, that looks really good. And then I'm going to do for these um, gemstones here, we're going to do the red, violet, blue, um, which is, should give me kind of, yeah, that more like violet looking shimmer. And like I said, it's a real, real subtle, um, but it's really beautiful. It's always really hard to catch like, you know, glitter and stuff in, um, on camera, but I'm going to try to do it for you here after it dries as well. So just again, just adding a little bit onto the end of my paintbrush. It looks like that. And I'm going to just go in. And I think if you're a glitter fan, you'll love these. Because, I mean, the paint is very, very heavily packed with glitter. In areas where the paint is a little bit more built up, don't worry, it's going to look a little white. Almost like you put Elmer's glue or something on your page, but I promise you it will it will go away it's kind of like even stickles they look different once they're once they're dry and these paints i believe they sell for close to four dollars a paint Um, they might be slightly more than that on Amazon, but um, like I said, the best place to buy them is Walmart. You can get them the cheapest there. Very, very pretty. And because they're clear, what I like about it is you don't have to worry about being like so precise. Like I probably could have gone with a slightly smaller brush, but that's all right. I'm being a little bit messy, a little bit sloppy.
like I said, it's just a lot of fun. It's just a lot of like really, really quick and easy. Now this acrylic paint, like I said, there is a dry time, but the dry time isn't bad. I would say these are probably fully dry as long as you do like a thin coat of, um, as long as you do like a thin coat of paint. Yeah, like that's almost practically dry. I would say give it 10, 15 minutes. Um, you just don't want to close your book while it is still drying. Um, because if you close your book while it dries, um, the pages are going to stick together. So you don't want to do that. Um, I'm going to add just, I feel like those are so glittery, but I feel like I want to add just a little bit more to the candle here. So I'm going to go back and add a little bit more glitter there. And then we're going to, um, check in, in probably about five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna give it just a little more time to dry. I'm gonna play around my lighting as well and see if I can find the right light so that you can really, really, really see the shine off of these and see the different colors. And so if you're a colored pencil person, if you are a marker person, if you're a crayon person, whatever kind of person you are, if you want to add glitter over the top of anything that you color with, highly, highly, highly suggest these. Okay, so my paint is on. You can already start to see a little bit some of that iridescent shine, especially in the gemstones. Um, and in the little globe here, the candle is just kind of hard to see. So we're going to play around with the light a little bit. I'm going to let these fully settle, fully dry, and then we will come back and I will show you the final product. See you soon. All right. So it is about five minutes later. And so it is dry. Um, the paint on here is dry. I could close my book and I could be totally done right now. Like I said, the dry time really, really depends upon how thick of a layer that you use and how much you're using. So, and it may vary from place to place. So a lot of times I just leave my book open like overnight or during the day or, you know, whatever, to just make sure that it's fully dry. But, um, I feel pretty confident. I've worked with Dragonfly Glaze enough now to know that this is completely dry. So I wanted to show you what it really looks like and how reflective it is. I've dimmed some of the lights in my room um, just so that you guys can, can see this a little bit more fully and can kind of see the reflection. I think you're already seeing the reflection here off of the candle that's giving that nice violet color. You're seeing maybe a little bit off of the globe as well. Um, it's just, it's so, so sparkly <laughs> once it's done. Um, so let me get some of this under the light a little bit more. Yeah, now you can really see those gemstones really reflecting and really, really shining. Um, so those give off kind of a nice purpley glimmer. Um, the little globe dome thing yeah, here is really going to give off mostly gold. Um, when you see it in the light, um, it's, it's beautiful. It's kind of like a stargazy, um, type of color. And then, um, you can definitely see in the candle, from the direct light here, it's giving off mostly like a red color. So I'm going to try to move my little light in here even more. So it really, really gives just a nice, subtle, beautiful glitter effect. Um, so go pick some up if you're interested and um, use them on some, try them out on some of your coloring pages. Um, you may want to also just buy one um, and not buy all of the different colors. If I were to suggest one, I think these two are the ones that I use the most. Um, the one that kind of gives off that goldish shift and the one that gives off more of that purpley shift those two I probably use the most so if I were to recommend one I would recommend one or the other because um those definitely um give give kind of the shine that I'm looking for for the most kind of that red shimmer is not something I look for as much the full spectrum like I said I've used it and it hasn't blown me away so I don't recommend that one um as like if you're like a you know a first time user in dragonfly glaze um I just find it doesn't give as bright of a shimmer um as some of these other ones do so Go check it out. Find which one you feel is right for you. I'm happy to answer any of your questions down in the comment box below. Of course, please like, subscribe, and comment um, if you like this video or want to see other videos. If there's any other tutorials or anything else that you're interested, please let me know. I'm happy to film them. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and we'll talk again soon. Bye.